Hello, my name is Jacqueline Lawrence and today I'm going to talk about mental health exclusion. Millions of people suffer from mental health conditions sometime in their lives. For many, it can be severe and long-lasting. Now, even as we welcome new attitudes in the society, the way mental health affected patients or people of are treated in society still remains the same and is even worse in developing countries where there's not enough knowledge about how to care for mental health people. Now these people can find themselves socially excluded from jobs, family support, family support, proper health care, community at large. This exclusion can lead to a downward spiral of unemployment, poverty, family breakdown and deteriorating health. And the cost to an individual of handling their mental health are large as well and will keep getting larger in the future. But then there are measures that we can take so as to have the situation in control. Firstly, we need more mental health centers in the country. We need mental health centers at least in every region, or at least in five regions within the country to cater for all mental health people in the country. Uh, these mental health centers do not have to be hospitals. They just have to be places where uh, mentally affected people can get psychiatric help. Uh, they can get psychiatric help, activities, games, and things that they can do in order to keep themselves sane and where they can be well taken care of. These centers can, we can start off with at least five centers for the country because as of now, there's only one mental health hospital. It's called Mirembe and it is in Dodoma. And for now, it is, as we can say, overcapacitated. They treat 650 inpatients and 250 outpatients. And uh, their staff, they have a staff of 25 people and guards who are trained. But we still believe that, as well, it is too small a number, one, to cater for all mental health people in Tanzania. So more mental health centers within Tanzania will do good for the mental health people suffering in our country. And secondly, we need a Disability Discrimination Act. It is important because it will, it will outlaw discrimination over, uh, against disabled people, mentally disabled people in schools, jobs, uh, in jobs and workplaces and other areas so as they are treated the same just like everybody else. The third thing we need is we need more NGOs to inform people about mental health, how to care for mental health and how to and they these NGOs can fight for these rights of mental health, mental health people and mental health patients so as they're not mistreated in the many areas where they go in the many areas that they end up. I believe that these three things if worked upon can aid the condition of mental health affected people in the country. Thank you very much. My name is Jacqueline Lawrence.